Welcome to Magitudes, my friends. Just a quick tutorial on how to add audio tracks in Premiere Pro. Here we have an almost blank project. I already have an audio file here in the project folder. Let me drag this inside of the timeline. You will see that now um, from the scratch um, there will be from scratch there will be three audio tracks created and I have that file here on audio one. But maybe later on at some point I want to have more audio tracks than three. There are two ways now how you can add additional audio tracks. The easiest way is to click here next to an audio track in that area here and simply choose add track. This will insert an additional and similar audio track. And you see now that we have now four audio tracks. The second way how you can insert audio tracks is by going here to sequence and then you're going to choose add tracks. Like this you will get to the set you will get to the audio track menu and in this menu you can simply choose how many audio tracks you would like to insert. Please make sure to, select, uh, to input zero video, video tracks if you only want to insert audio tracks. Instead of one audio track you can obviously also insert five or ten audio tracks at the same time. Just choose another number here and you are ready to go. You can also choose the placement. You can say you want to have that track inserted before the first audio track or after the last audio track. Make your selection and then you are ready to go. Just please press on OK. And now you see that we have five audio tracks. And now at the end of that video, I would also like to tell you how you can insert audio in Premiere Pro because maybe with adding audio tracks that is what you originally meant. If that is the case uh, it is very simple as well. You can just choose a um, audio file like a WAV file for, in for example. Let me just choose one here and now the little problem that some people may have is that these audio files you cannot simply uh, just take a random drum audio file here you cannot simply insert that into the timeline what you need to do is you need to drag that first in the project folder I have that inserted now here and once you have it in the project folder from there you can easily just drag it into the timeline I hope this video was useful for you guys and if it was please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day and see you soon guys. Bye!